Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing past lives. Not really sure how to feel about it, son. Nora and Haesung, two deeply connected childhood friends, are rested apart after Nora's family emigrates from South Korea to Canada. Two decades later, they are reunited in New York for one fateful week as they confront notions of destiny and love in this heart-rending modern romance. Okay, let's start with what I liked about this picture. Listen, I'll just give it to you straight. Past Lies is an astounding fusion of writing, performance, and filmmaking. Now, I'm tempted to come out of the gates guns blazing here. This is the best film of 2023. It's the most romantic film you'll ever see. Okay, maybe that's a little too far, but it did remind me of David Lean's Brief Encounter. Little nudges of Linklater's Before Trilogy and a healthy helping of the films of Wong Kar Wai. So what makes this special? Can we talk about Greta Lee for a second? Here's an actress we knew had comedic chops. She definitely could hit our funny bone, often playing these sarcastic, urban millennial socialites in a lot of TV dramas. What we didn't know was how effective she could be at pulling on our heartstrings as well. In fact, each of the performances of the three leads here are tender, delicate, even somewhat hushed. Just very lived in and therefore extremely engaging to us as a viewer. But Greta takes the cake for her ability to convey oceans of feeling and inner rumination through the subtlest of body movements. We also need to point to Celine Song's writing and direction. This is an exceptional work for a first-time director, and it is obviously autobiographical in its construction. The film is littered with memorable lines of dialogue and scenes, like the concept of in Young, which we'll come back to in detail, to an utterly arresting sequence of a husband and wife conversing in bed. The whole thing just smacks of the ups and downs of real relationships, the ways that people discover themselves and each other, about the comfort of established relationships versus the fear and yet the exhilaration of the unknown, the lingering what ifs of the one that got away. And that all of this is captured with meticulous shot framing almost boggles the mind. Past Lives is a film of many quiet and reflective moments. It's a real mood piece. There's an interplay between the pensive score and all of these rather still shots of the city. In the silent moments between sparse dialogue, you'll see trees and water and other geography, and slow camera movements that zoom out to locate these characters in a larger cityscape. And look, there are some real bravura moments of filmmaking too. From the picturesque shot of these two's first goodbye as youth, to an over six minute final tracking shot, which I could spend an entire separate video breaking down. Finally, this is the best ending of a film I've seen all year one that was more crushingly beautiful than everything that went before it. Okay, so let's move on to some of my dislikes. Well, as you probably guessed from the last section, I just don't have a lot here. It is true that Sung's character is a little bit underbaked, but I think this is actually an intentional move from the director. He's playing that stereotypically stoic South Korean persona, melancholic, but not destroyed, full of impassioned longing, but resolute. Plus, this is really Nora's movie as a construction of Celine Song's own life, and the movie is really better for it. Now, it's also true that the middle act of the film's three-part structure is a little slighter than the others. Speaking of this, some may find the three time divisions, each 12 years apart, to be a little unyielding or overly controlled. It is, in a sense, limiting, but still extremely creatively rendered. Besides, Past Lives is never really striving to be some grand magnum opus anyway. It's a contemplative picture filled with many snapshots in the lives of these characters. Now, for me, its modest aims may just keep it from reaching the heights of a five-star picture, but it's still pretty perfect in what it's trying to accomplish. Okay, so let's move on to discuss some of my own original thoughts on the themes of past lives. This film is built around questions of destiny and fate. Our futures predetermined based on the encounters we have. The concept of choice when it comes to love and life. In this film, this is seen most clearly through the introduction of the term in young, 
Inyon is a Korean belief that essentially states that the lives that a person previously had reverberate through layers of time until they finally coalesce for people to find each other. So when individuals connect in this world, it is because of a series of minute encounters that they've made throughout all of their other lifetimes. So this may seem a little heady, overly mawkish, or hopelessly romantic, but Celine Song always has the movie balanced perfectly between this gut-wrenching ache and the ability for these characters to just laugh at themselves and the ludicrousness of all of this. Beyond these things, I'll just say that there's not a lot of story here. It's more about the sensory, the sights and sounds of the city, the pauses and silences between Nora and Haesung. It's about experience, the inner lives of characters with rich emotions roiling under the surface. So when these two are finally in person, the dialogue actually backs off some. Because of their years of kinship, their shared silence means as much as all of the verbal communication that we got in the second act. And then comes one of the most longingly romantic conversations you'll ever witness. Okay, so what do we conclude? Just a jaw-dropping debut from writer-director Celine Song. A film that is better made and performed than lesser director's 10th pictures. Past Lives is an adult love story, unlike so many run-of-the-mill rom-coms, feels powerfully real. Full of intricately sketched characters, yet somehow plumbing the depths of the human condition. It is certainly one of the best films you'll see all year. Not really sure how to feel about it, son. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this film. FOF gives Past Lives four and a half out of five stars. If you enjoyed this review, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Also, please don't forget to visit FermanOnFilm.com for even more movie content. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends. Um.